Edna Volcano's recent explosive power with a greater number of sorties in the last 25 years than in the previous 300 years. The Volcanoes has a much larger stockpile of weapons, the current activity is very large, and it looks like the eruption rate will still increase. The intensity of modern activity at Etna is a reminder of the dangers of volcanoes around the world. But it is also a boon for scientists because of their ability to not only study the functioning of volcanoes but also develop better ways to communicate with at-risk communities and test next-generation monitoring tools. In recent years, Philippe Jusset a geophysicist at Germany's Potsdam Geoscience Research Center, and his team used fiber optics to monitor the smallest vibrations on Etna. When light is reflected down a fiber optic strand, small imperfections along the cable reflect some of the light back to its source. Small geological vibrations push the cables, affecting the timing and reflection properties of light flashes, allowing scientists to locate the vibrations in the ground. Jessit and his colleagues installed fiber optic cables near Etna's peak to track the volcano's rumbling. As Etna fell silent, scientists were surprised to see a series of very small vibrations that appeared to originate from the movement of fluids and gases underground. Scientists had never previously seen these signals at Etna in data collected by the Volcano's Seismometer Network, which is traditionally used to monitor shaking and earthquakes on our planet. But the discovery prompted a closer look at the seismometer data and revealed one station near Etna's peak that recorded small bumps associated with geological gurgling. Other stations are too far away to hear so the slight vibration is considered noise. However, the optical fibers provide a dense line of dots along the network, helping scientists find the tiny bubbles. These signals can provide invaluable clues about events underground at the volcanoes during periods of calm. When scientists have little way to determine what will happen next, there may be some signs that tell us that we could see the next eruption at this location or that location. The wealth of information about Etna and the length of many research records also promise continued volcanic insight. For the Open University's Mori, this will mark the 54th year he has surveyed Etna using a technique called leveling. This method provides a detailed picture of changes in Etna's shape through relative differences in surface height. The process requires one person to hold a graduated stick while another person stands at a distance to collect measurements via a telescope-like instrument placed on a tripod. Although surface changes are now mostly monitored using satellites. Murray's research has recently revealed important details that can still be gleaned from surface leveling. Near the top of the volcanoes, ash and volcanic debris obscure the ground surface and cause continuous surface shifts, making satellite analysis difficult. However, Murray's careful measurements over decades show that Etna's peak is slowly sinking, and it is likely that more information will be revealed. <laughs>